last week on Give Me a Break. Oh, good. You finally got a smile on your face. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over, ring the doorbell. Okay. And when your mama comes to the door, you greet her with open arms, okay? Okay. Are you going to stay out here all day or are you coming in? <laughs> Loretta waited for the right man. You panicked and married the first bum that came along. <laughs> Mama? Hmm? He wasn't a bum. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't the first. <laughs> Mama's going to live with you in Glen Lawn. <laughs> And so, Loretta and Howard, you have decided to share your lives and live as one. But you must be aware of the pitfalls. You know, and I'm just going to have to tell Loretta, it's not as simple as just buying Mama a one-way ticket to Glen Lawn. You know, it's the chief's house. He's the boss. He runs that house. I just live there. I don't know why she want me to do her favor anyway. She never liked me, and I don't like her. I don't even know she's really my sister. That's she showed sure don't look like my dad, and I showed sure don't look like my mama. <laughs> Tell you I don't know why to even turn yeah. it right there. Amen! Yeah. I just knew it. As soon as I get there, the chief is not gonna... Daddy, are you listening to me? No, I'm trying to listen to the minister. You have chosen one. Why? He ain't saying nothing you ain't never heard before. <laughs> Neither are you. And now, if there be anyone who objects to the joining of this couple in holy matrimony, Speak now or forever hold your peace. I'll get that. <laughs> you are doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Nell. It's me, Carl. Oh, Chief, thank goodness you called. Listen, something terrible's happened. What's the matter? Well, you know, my sister Loretta and her new husband Howard are moving to Denver. Now, get this. They want my mama to come live with us in Glen Lawn. Now, wait a minute. Before you go through the roof, I want you to know that it's all right for you to go right ahead and say no. I'll understand. Wait a minute now. This is kind of sudden. I... Hold on one minute. I pronounced you man and wife. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Chief, listen. The reception's about to start, so will you hurry up and say no, please? Well, now, you were the one who got my father to move in with us. The least I could do, I suppose, is open my door to your mother. What? <laughs> we'll fix up the room over the garage. Chief, I'm gonna have to level with you. <laughs> do you know what it would be like to have a loud mouth, pushy, know-it-all black lady move in your house and take over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that on the phone now? It was a wrong number, Mama. <laughs> she never let us go out and play. Well, let me give it a shot. Can we go outside and play? No. Why not? Because I said so. See, what did I tell you? The wedding's over. Now you tell him. Maybe he'll listen to you. Joey, go outside and play. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes dirty. So what, Mama? You're supposed to have fun when you're a child. I don't know where you picked that up. I can see I got a lot of work to do when I get to California. <laughs> oh, 
Eddie, listen up. I got to talk to you. I'm in trouble. You're in trouble? Did you know Sarah Green's husband ran off with her younger sister? And Pam Templeton is pregnant, and she doesn't know if it's a guy who okays the checks at the supermarket or the mayor? <laughs> well, I tell you, these people are living in Knott's Landing. Abby, please, don't listen to ugly, vicious gossip. Besides, I happen to know that the mayor is gay. <laughs> Wait till I tell the girls. Get it back here, Addie. Listen, I just talked to the chief about my mom, and he said, never mind, shh, here comes your mother. I hope they cut the wedding cake soon. I'd like to get out of here. What's your hurry, Mama? I got a client who's hot to buy the house I'm handling over on Elm Street, and he's sort of got the hots for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I were you, Della, I would hurry right over there. It's not every day you get a chance to sell a house and then move right in. <laughs> never live on Elm Street. Girl! <laughs> I gotta go talk to the girl. Get it, come back. Did you hear what I just said to you? Yes! The mayor is gay. <laughs> oh, wait till you hear this, honey. Oh, Nell. No, no Rada. <laughs> All the best, honey. Oh, Nell, I'm so glad you're not still upset about Mama coming to live with you in Glen Lawn. Nah. I've lived a rich, full life. Here comes the groom. Oh, congratulations, weatherman. Thanks, sis. Well, it was chilly today, but it'll be hot tamale. Not now, Howard. Oh, no. I'd like you to meet Mary Lou Fong. She does the evening news with me. She's Chinese. Oh, Mary Lou. Oh, well, hi, Howard. I do declare, this has been the finest little wedding I've ever Oh, Mary Lou, I'd like you to meet Loretta's sister. Nell, this is Mary Lou Fong, our anchor person. Well, hi, Nell. How are y'all doing? We all just doing fine. <laughs> oh, Loretta, we sure are gonna miss y'all. I mean, it's just not gonna be the same six o'clock news with that old Howard here doing the weather. <laughs> well, I suppose y'all taking Maybelle, too, huh? Well, no, Maybelle's not coming with us to Denver. She's moving out to California. Oh, yes. <laughs> Loretta's been so kind as to let Mama live with me the rest of my bone days. <laughs> Addie! <laughs> oh, that's precious. Why, you two are such lovely daughters. Well, I wouldn't let my little old Mama live with me for all the tea in China. <laughs> you wouldn't? Not for all the tea in China. Go at it, in the kitchen. Here, honey, it was nice being y'all, you hear? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you are ruining this wedding for me. Now, can't you tell me all this on the plane? No, I can't tell you the plane because you won't be able to hear me. We'll be sitting four across with my mama's mouth going from coast to coast. <laughs> you mean the chief said Maybelle can live with you? Addie, my mama is coming to Glen Lawn. Oh, Mel, you've got to be kidding. There is no way you and your mother can live under the same roof. I know that. But Loretta's been stuck with all these years, and now it's my turn. Yeah, I guess you do owe Loretta that. I don't owe Loretta anything. <laughs> Just... <laughs> well, you may not owe Loretta anything, but you do owe Maybelle something. You're right. I do owe her. She's my mama. So that's what happens when your parents get old. The children have to take care of, never mind how the parent treats the children. But it's always the child's responsibility to take care of the parent. It's that way in every society, except for the Chinese. <laughs> what? When Mary Lou Fong told me that she would let her mama stay with her, for all the tight and shine. <laughs> Wait, now why be glad to get home? Your mother wouldn't even let me eat a piece of wedding cake in the house. Why not? I don't know. All she ever says is because I said so. <laughs> Listen, Joey, I want you to go back in there, get your piece of wedding cake, take it upstairs and go over in the bathroom, a hole of the bathroom sick, and don't drop one crumb or leave any evidence and you go in there and keep having a good time. That's it, now. <laughs> Why couldn't I have been born Chinese? I tell you, I just have to accept Mama the way she is because at her age, she's not gonna change. When she gets to Glenlon, I'll just have to bite the bullet. And if that doesn't work, 
I'll put the bullet back in the gun and I'll shoot myself. <laughs> now, look. Just because Loretta and Howard have given you that ticket does not mean you have to accept the situation. What else am I going to do? <laughs> Maybe you could find her a roommate. Oh, Addie, thank you. You take it. You've always got a long way. <laughs> No matter what kind of problems we have, she's still my mother. And if I close the door in her face, I have to live with that guilt for the rest of my life. Oh, of course you would. And you're much too sensitive to live with that kind of guilt. You're wrong, Addie. I could live with it. <laughs> Did you see the way she treated Joey? She would treat the whole family the same way. She would drive them right up the wall. It would be a clean wall, but she would drive them up there anyway. No, I'm gonna tell my mama she cannot come to Glen Lawn. And then I'll just have to find a way to live with that guilt. Okay, everybody, now who's gonna catch the bouquet? Mama? What? You better go get that. Uh, a plane leaves at six. <laughs> It was a beautiful wedding, Loretta. Oh, thanks, Della. You know, I'm really gonna miss you. Oh, don't you worry about that. You'll be seeing me in Denver. Oh. I go skiing in Colorado every winter. You'll be seeing me too, Loretta. Mom and I have a date for Christmas at the Winter Club Med. <laughs> Nell, maybe you and your mama can join us at Aspen. Nah, we'll be on Devil's Island. <laughs> I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you out there. Let's go, Addie. We can just about make the happy hour at the old Rebel Inn. Oh, Mama, do they still have those southern fried nachos? Oh, yeah. I love those things. Well, bye, you two. Bye-bye. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Okay, Nell. Okay. What I did to you wasn't fair. I mean, just because I've had Mama on my shoulders all these years does not mean that I have the right to just hand you a ticket and ship her off to Glen Lawn with you. Oh, honey, <laughs> you mean you're gonna take Mama to Denver with you? No. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no. I'm starting a whole new life. And there's just no room in it for anyone except Howard and Jerome. I'm sorry, honey. Look, I want you and Howard and Jerome to have a wonderful life in Denver. <laughs> and I hope y'all freeze to death. <laughs> I better go get dressed. Oh, Loretta. Yeah? I bet you can't wait to tell Mama how I feel about her coming to Glenlawn, can you? No, now why would I do that? Because when we were little girls, that's all you ever did do was run to Mama and snitch. No, you were always getting away with everything. What? Well, I never got away with anything. I had to be the good little girl. Oh, don't knock it. That's how you became Mama's favorite. You were Daddy's favorite. That's different. No, it's not. <laughs> You're right. I I'm sorry. Look, no. no. Now you can be Mama's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, she gets up at five. Uh, you were a beautiful bride. I'm gonna run and tell Mama you said that. <laughs>
Hickory dickory dock. The mouse What's ran up. No? I was just um thinking about when I was a little girl. Oh. I was just getting a little worried because you look so sad. I love you, Joey. Come on, sit down with me. Well, mister, I guess you know you're gonna have to go upstairs and finish packing, hmm? Mm-hmm. Did you tell Jerome goodbye? Yeah. Boy, is he happy he's moving to Denver. Yeah? I thought he would miss all his friends. Well, he's not gonna miss your mother. <laughs> she never lets him do anything. And all she ever says is, no, because I said so. <laughs> Okay, young man, I think it's time we had a little talk. Come on. Come on, sit on my lap. Come on. Sit down. We are going to talk about mothers. You know, Joey, sometimes a mother has to tell a child no. No, you cannot eat that. No, you can't watch the television show. No, you cannot go outside without a sweater. You know? They say it because they care about you. And did you know that sometimes the mother that seems the meanest and the nastiest is just trying to cover up for a heart of gold? Your mother's coming to Glen Lawn, isn't she? <laughs> you think you are so smart. Get off my lap. Go upstairs and pack yourself. Oh, it's just what I need. Two mothers. <laughs> The wedding was beautiful. And Loretta made a beautiful bride. Yeah, she and Howard are gonna be very happy. Mama, why are you cleaning up? You know Della's coming over to do it for you. Nell, you forget I was married to a minister. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Mama, heaven ain't this clean. <laughs> it will be when I get there. You know, Mama, Joey is really excited about your coming to Glenlawn to live with us. First thing I'm gonna do is cut that boy's hair. <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you come and live with us, you, you, you're gonna have your own room, and you're gonna be like our guest. And you won't have to worry about anybody but yourself. You know, the girls and the whole family is just really, they're really good at doing that themselves. Mm-hmm. What you're trying to tell me now is you want me to stay in my room, mind my own business, I'll be a prisoner, you'll slide my food under the door. <laughs> Well, you don't have to worry, honey. I will stay in my room. I won't come out and try to be a part of the family. Mama, that's not what I meant. We want you to be a part of the family. Good. Then I'll cut the boy's hair. <laughs> hey, Mama. Mm -hmm. You know what? I like Joey's hair the way it is. We never did agree on much, did we, now? No, Mom, I guess we didn't. You're always hard to get along with. You never listen to me. Mama, I, I listened to you. I just didn't like everything you had to say. Well, you wasn't supposed to like everything I had to say. Why not, Mama? Because I said so. Ma, see, <laughs> you never listened to me. Mama, I listened to you. You never talked to me. You yelled at me. You talked to Loretta. Loretta respected me. She loved me. She wasn't always in trouble, and she didn't run off the first chance she had. Oh, yes, she did, Mama. How it was her first chance. <laughs> How can you talk about your sister like that on her wedding day? Did you learn that in California? Yep. Right after I learned how to surf. <laughs> the difference between you and your sister is that you're always thinking about yourself. You wanted a singing career, so you dropped out of high school. You didn't like living in Alabama, so you moved to California. You didn't like this family, so you went off and got yourself another one. Listen, woman, let me put a bee in your bonnet. Do you think it was easy for me being out there by myself? Do you think it was easy my being on my own? Well, maybe I did have a marriage that didn't work out. Maybe I did have a career that didn't work out. But I left because I had to take a chance, Mom. 
Oh, why am I talking to you? You don't understand anything. You are so selfish. What? You heard me. You think you're the only one that ever wanted to take a chance. Are you trying to tell me that you ever wanted to take a chance for something, Mama? Anything? Nell, when I was 16, I wanted to go to New York and become a dancer. You what? Don't you remember all those Catherine Dunham posters I had? <laughs> Is that why you've been so mad at me all these years? Because I left and did the things that you wanted to do? Were you jealous of me, Mama? Nonsense. A mother is never jealous of her daughters, ever. By the way, I'm not going to Glen Lawn. What do you mean you're not going to Glen Lawn? I'm staying right here. Mama, with me in California, Lorella and Denver, who's going to look after you? I don't need anyone to look after Mama, me. Mama, you can't be on your own. Why not? Because I said so. <laughs> Nell, you don't understand. I was a minister's wife and a good wife. I was the mother of a minister's children and a good mother. But I'll be damned if I'm going to be a minister's widow. Mama! I am bored. What? Bored. <laughs> they count on me to attend every church social, every funeral, every wedding. Nell, last month, I went to three weddings and two funerals. I got so mixed up, I threw rice at the undertaker. <laughs> Mama, it's, it's good to see you laugh. Oh, Nell, I think I'm going to laugh a lot more now. I'm going to take my chance now. I'm not going to worry about you or Loretta or anyone. Mm -mm. I'm going to look after me. Watch my smoke. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Oh, over to the happy hour at the old Rebel Inn. <laughs> Mama! You can't go to the old Rebel Inn. You don't even know how to order a drink. Don't worry, honey. I'm going over there to find Della. Get her to sell this house. Buy me a condominium. Whoa, one bedroom. Why one bedroom? Well, you only come home every three years. You can sleep on the couch. <laughs> Got a deal, Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll see you. Uh, Mama, hmm? um, just in case it, it doesn't work out, there's always room for you in Glen Lawn. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because I said so. Happy days are here again. <laughs>